Hey everyone, this week I'd initially planned to talk about Theresa May's cabinet reshuffle, except that frankly the most visible change was that the various cabinet ministers changed their shirts and ties between day one and day two. The main news this week, of course, was from Washington DC, where the president decided to draw attention to himself. Sure, presidents love to steal the show, Bill Clinton famously carried a saxophone with him in order to outshine George Bush or Ross Perot should the situation arise, and the rumour is actually that he brought that saxophone to the Northern Ireland peace process after somebody told him that he was going there to support the cause. Get it? Support the cars? That Irish man? Never mind. So, back to President Trump then. The Washington Post this week reported it supposedly referred to the third world using a word beginning with S that was, to use the letter S, a synonym for stool. You know, more severe than the word suspicious and a simply silly suggestion to spout to the scribes. As with many of Trump's proclamations, though, even if you do agree with his America First policy, he does come across as a hypocrite, as quite a lot of his staff at Mar-a-Lago in Florida happened to beef migrants from impoverished parts of Latin America. You know, perhaps he'd have had more success if he'd accompanied the gaffe with an announcement that the Trump organization would cease employing migrant labor and start paying $15 an hour instead for long-term U.S. residents to work for him. On the other hand, he did suggest that he wanted people from Norway, you know, a fairly left-wing place, to move to the U.S., so that's perhaps as close an olive branch towards centrist policy politics as we're going to get this week, I think. Also, one takeaway from this is that if you do find yourself living in an economically depressed post-industrial part of the UK or France or Germany or, well, anywhere north of the Mediterranean, really, then congratulations. According to President Trump, you're not living in a cesspool after all. It turns out that even if your shopping precinct was recently filmed as part of a video montage for a news report about urban decay, just be glad that you're lucky enough to not be beset by the sort of problems they have in southern Asia, you know, with its sun and its cheap lifestyle and its ghastly 7% annual growth rates. Anyway, a day later, um, as part of an encore I suppose, there was an announcement that the President will no longer be visiting London when the US Embassy opens up in Battersea. In all honesty though, and as speaking as someone who used to live near King's Cross, a lot of Londoners would probably agree with his decision not to venture south of the river. Anyway, see you next week. If you like, please click subscribe.